Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. showing you right now is your heritage that your people right well your particular tribe right the the, the Reubenites or this world calls them the Cindy, Seminole Indians this is still their customs and their heritage this is the, the, the well not that but this is the way you've wore your apparel all right throughout your history since the time that Moses was given this by the Lord in turn telling the nation got, of Israel, of you understand? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. so what you're seeing is now, or what you're getting now is the understanding of why you did it because yeah. something in the northern kingdom of Israel, right, okay. Reuben, Gad, I'm, I'm you, I'm you've here. gotten a, but, but, but this is the point. There's a reason to doing it too. And that's what the northern kingdom or the Native Americans have gotten away from the understanding of what it is, right? So there's a practicality to spirituality. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. And, you, and, 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 for, and for you to, Understand it better. You must know why it is, or, or understand the practicality of it. Right. Finish this in numbers, and you we gonna because we gonna get the understanding of why you've done this. Right. What was this all about? Because you still do it today, yeah. right? But you call it your um, ceremonial garments, your ceremonial gowns, right? right? But this is how the Lord commanded we dress. Period. Watch this. Come on. Verse thirty-nine. And I shall, and it shall be unto you. For a fringe, uh -huh. that ye may look upon it. Now this is now we get into the reason why your people or your tribe has put this stuff on their garments, right? right? That the Bible calls them fringes, right? right? It shall be these fringes or this hem of your garments shall be unto you. Read and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So you, we put these on our garments so that they are they signify. The commandments of God. Right. You understand? So you literally walking around with a reminder for you to keep the commandments of God. Right. Why didn't he tell all nations to put fringes on their garments? Bring it up. Why was this only instituted to one people? Jeez. Because you are supposed to do it and you are supposed to teach it. You are the representatives of God. Right. You understand? Right. So when your people or your tribe, which nowadays you call them a ceremonial tribe, it's not a ceremony to put fringes on. Right. That's everyday clothes. You're right. supposed to have that on every day. Right. Right? right. So when you see when you when you see this, you now have understanding of what it's talking about, what it means. Right? Now I'm gonna show you this. Go to go to give me heritage. Give me heritage, it's a rock. 24. Tw 23, 24. I'm sorry. It's a rock 23, 24. Now we're gonna show you this is your heritage, and you're gonna now understand it wasn't a heritage of man or a tradition of man that was passed along, and now just you you just these things on the bottom of your clothes or your ceremonial clothes, it's just something that we do from back in the... No, you're going to understand that this was always the heritage and why. Alright, come on, watch this. This is the book of Sirach, 
chapter 24, verse 23. Read. All these things of the book of the covenant of the Most High. So all these things, one of these things that, 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 uh, that Sirach is talking about right now are the commandments that Moses was given by God and in turn given it to the Israelites, right? Those commandments, like we just read about fringes, are a covenant, meaning a, a relationship, a promise, a, a contract between, read, even the law which Moses commanded for an heritage uh -huh. unto the congregation of Jacob. So the Bible says that the covenant of the commandments and the law are a heritage unto Jacob, whose name was later changed, changed to Israel. Right. You understand? You're an Israelite. The, 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 the tribe of Reuben is who you preside from. That's who you are. These laws are, are what you're supposed to be keeping. That's right. These laws pertain to your people. That's it's not right. just a tradition. It's a law. God says we must do it. So if you understand these laws, and you understand most, most importantly to keep them, there's more that goes along with that. Put that down and come on back. There's more laws that goes along with that. All right? God, God gave us many laws that we are to govern and live by. Right. You understand? Many laws. Come on. Understood. So, so you understand that, Michael? I do, but I just, um, like, I've been, uh, like I said, I've been knowing uh, about this for a minute, and I did step away from it because I started looking back for the slave trade. Yeah. And um, what I discovered was that it's actually flipped around. We didn't, What's that? He wasn't, uh, we didn't find out after we just documented the stuff. The brown folk didn't come from Africa. They were going to Africa. Well, it's, it's two different slave trades that our people don't quite understand. So we have two kingdoms, the northern and the southern kingdom. So which one you're talking about right now is the northern, aka so-called Native Americans, Hispanics. So during the 14th century, the conquistadors, they came over here and they conquered and they sent our people to Europe right. in different parts, right? right? So that's, that's during the 14th century, but what, guess what, 1619, that's when the southern kingdom, we was brought over here in slavery. So when we teach Deuteronomy 28, the curses of our people, the slave trade still applies to both kingdoms. That's right. One just happened before the other, and since they was already over here, they got sent abroad, and we got brought over here. I got you. you understand that? Well, so we still the same people, it just was a different dispensation of time. Right, it's, it's, but that's the thing, like, um, at least from with my, with my family, on both sides, mom and dad, uh -huh. you know, traced it back, we even asked like the oldest living relatives about their great grandparents, because they better than the great grandma. Um, it's none of our folks had anything to do with slavery. It was mostly farming and working for somebody else, but it was, it was our land. But we was making it. Yes, sir. Go ahead. It's, a, yeah, yeah. it's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Correction, verse 31. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes. So right now we're about to bring some curses to the northern kingdom. Because you were saying that you, when you trace it back, you was never in slavery, correct? Right, right, right. But guess what? You, they came over here and conquered you and then sent you off into slavery. So we're going to show you some of the... Watch this. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm show you. That's part of it, right? What he said. I just want to... Uh, intro. You know, you might not understand this part, right? But Northern Kingdom, even if you weren't sent away on ships right right then and there uh, in 1492 right you were still uh uh colonized yeah, you understand yeah. so so the word colonized or colonization is yeah. slavery it's, 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 it's two different words same exact meaning right right meaning what you own does not belong to you neither does your body belong right. to you right? Right, right, right i'm gonna show you something watch this watch this is the book of deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 31 oh. This is this was whose land before it was anyone's land? Well, I know, but who did God give it to? Right, the so-called net. What you say, brother? The Hebrew Israelites. Well, the, namely, let's let we, so, so everybody can understand. That's that's correct. But I'm gonna speak so everybody can understand. The so-called Native Americans. Right. It was right. their land. Yeah. It was their land. Right, call them Aboriginal, meaning original to the land, right? right? right. So the natives were original to the land. Your right. tribesmen were original right. Right. to this land right. Right. before anybody else. This right. was your land, right? Watch this. Verse 31. Thine ox 
shall be slain before thine eyes. So that's one. It says thine ox, your ox, shall be slain before your eyes. That's so that's right. You ain't got on a slave ship yet. Yeah. You understand? Neither do you have to get on a slave ship for this to happen to you. Buffalo, this happened yeah. to your people. You're right. right. The, buffalo, your, uh, yeah. the buffalo is an ox. Right. So your ox, yeah. your cattle shall be slain before your eyes. And how many buffalo did they wipe out? Nearly all of them. That's right. Nearly all of them. They almost made a, 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 the buffalo extinct. Right? Watch this. Come on. And thou shalt not eat thereof. What you had to eat. That's how you, that's what, that's what the uh, natives had as a major portion of the meat source in their diet. But the so-called white man and the so-called conquistador man and the so-called, they were all white. We call them these different, but the so-called white man or Caucasian people came over here and they conquered you. But this was one of the devices of conquering your people and conquering this land. They destroyed the ox. You had no food. You had nothing to clothe yourselves, clothe your children, make your houses and your tents with. Their skin and their hides is also what you used to cover yourselves and your house with. Teach. Right? Come on. You don't have to get on a slave ship. We ain't got to the slave ship yeah. yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this part is called what? Colonization. Colonization. Right. Slavery by another name. Yeah. Come on. Then ass shall be violently taken away. And what do they do when they had you working on your own land for free for them? They took your animals. Yeah. They didn't bring asses over here or donkeys over here. They didn't bring cattle over here. They didn't bring food source over here. Teach. They took yours. They took what belonged to you. Right. Come on. Thine ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face uh -huh. and shall not be restored to thee. And shall not be restored to you. It ain't been given back to you. So whether you got on a slave ship or not, you still served as a slave, That's which right. is one of the curses of the children of Israel. Right. This is how you know that you are of the children of Israel. That's right. right. Come on. The sheep shall be given unto thine enemies. To who? Thine enemies. So you can still be on your land and it's taken from you. The, 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 the riches you have, the resources you have taken from you and given to who? Your enemies. Read. Read. And thou shalt have none to rescue them. Nobody who came of your of your kinsmen, of your brethren, came to rescue you. Which of your own people could take your animals back that was stolen or violently, as the Bible say, taken from you? No, nobody, nobody could come and restore what was taken from violently, as the Bible say, taken from you. No man could restore that. Not your people, not some other people. Right. Nobody could because it was a curse that God put on you as a children of Israel for be, for breaking his commandments. Come on. The sons and the daughters shall be given unto another people. Now in this, what was it? I forget what it was in the 1700s. The Native Americans, how did they learn to speak English? How did they learn? The ones who weren't sent on slave ships because remember Pocahontas, she was sent on a ship and became a bed wench over in Europe. Right. Understand? That was that's history. So some uh, of the Northern Kingdom or, or or Native Americans, yeah, they went in slave ships to slavery, right. but not all. So even if you were colonized, you were still a slave. You were still cursed by God, and none could flee from it. Nobody could get away from it. So it says that your sons and your daughters shall be taken from you and given unto another people. Why did it tell you about the animals first? Because the same way they took the animals violently. It's the same way they took your children, violently. Whether you were sent away or stayed here. How, how did you learn their language? What they did to the natives when they came here? They killed off the men, they killed off most. And the women and their children that was left, you understand, you can look this up. They built concentration camps for them, or schools, AKA schools for them. And they taught them English, and they taught them how to act and behave like they wanted them to. You understand? King James was not a homosexual, sir. That was a, that was a lie perpetuated by his enemies, the so-called white man. You understand? Because what he wanted to do, he wanted to maintain our history and not submit to Catholicism, which is witchcraft. So what they did to smear his image or smear his name, because the known world at the time was who? Black men. That's right. Black men, the white men were in caves, just freshly coming out of caves. You understand? Unlearned, uncivilized man. So they had to smear his name so that this heritage would be lost. You understand? So what King James did was he, was he translated his Bible from Latin. Who spoke Latin in this time? Not many, only the royal. Only the royal. Hold on, brother, real quick. 
Only the royalty or the, 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 the ruling class understood Greek and Latin. Understand that. So with the, uh, uh, King James, has, he understood what's coming. He understood he cannot withstand the tide of this enemy that's coming now. He understood that. So he had to make, come up with a way that his heritage, his people, would learn the truth one way or another. We would still be able to learn. You understand? King James was not a fact, and he was a black man as well. That's right. Not a white man. Do your research. We've been given a lot, a lot. Matter of, give me Deuteronomy 33, 29. Bring it out. Real quick. Hey. Come on. I'm going to tell, uh, uh, tell you one scripture. Oh, hold on, hold on, real quick. Bro. Go ahead. I was said about witchcraft. Yeah. Uh, is, is there, like, is it That's the name of the witchcraft. Is, is, is it a problem with magic or is it just... Yes. So you a magician? Well, that's the thing. Um, everybody was performing the miracles of magic in the Bible. Well, magic and miracles are two different things, right? right? right, right, right. Magic, magic, namely, is, an is it's an illusion, which is deception. Right, Very it's much. a lie. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So if if something, if if if, if I'm, I'm, I tell you what, yeah. I'm not gonna get into that story because no, you know the yeah. different levels of belief here. Right. But this is this is what I will say. Yeah. Moses didn't do anything. Right. You yeah, understand? Yeah. The Lord didn't. Right. right. So yeah, was the Lord working with those magi that was in Egypt? That's what I was. That's no, yeah. he destroyed. He killed them. Right. Yeah. He destroyed them. Bring it out. He told them, "Free my people. Let my people go." Of yeah. course, he was not working with them. Right. right. So what was that called? Witchcraft. Right. You can call it a miracle if you want. Nevertheless, is witchcraft okay? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Don't be fooled. Don't be deceived. See, this land gives us all these different, you know, different things. You like the, uh, like the, uh, the cup. Hide the, hide the thing in the cup right. game. You have five cups and you hide something under one of them. Which one is it? Which one is it? Just to trick you up, brother. That's, that's why I'm over here. I gotta okay. Ask All and that's good. Ask questions, uh, Micah. Watch this. Where you at? Yeah, found liars before thee. Your enemies shall be found. 32. That's it, that's it, that's okay, come on. Watch this. Because I forgot the point, man. What was my point, Micah? I'm sorry about that. <laughs> what you, right, they lied on King James. I'm addressing, what's your name? Uh, my name is Alan. Alan, I'm Jonathan. They lied on King James, right? But once you come in contact with the Bible, it's supposed to separate all these different uh, uh, confusing points and the truth, right? Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, verse 29. Mm -hmm. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, mm -hmm. O people, saved by the Lord, mm -hmm. the shield of thy help, uh -huh. and and who is thy sword uh -huh. of thy excellency? Read. And thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt tread upon their high places. What's their high places? What's a, part of it is the mindset that they gave us. You understand? Mm -hmm. What you said is a perpetuation of what was of the smear campaign from way back in the eight, I mean 1600s. Right. From way back then. When they said King James was a was a was a homosexual, when they said that wasn't the only lie they said about King James. But you do your research. King James was a black man, not a white man. King James was not a homosexuality. He was a man that declared his tribe and his lineage in decree by decree. You understand that? By decree, it wasn't a secret thing. Hey, I'm an Israelite. I'm a I'm an Israelite, but I'm acting like white people, so I'm cool with them. No. No, he declared his, by what's some things called? The coat of arms, the coat of arms. You understand? It's, it's a shield that they create and they put it on the front of their palace or cities, right? That's a coat of arms and it declares your lineage. It declares who you descend from. Not my daddy was Earl. No, 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 no. Where you come from? Adam. Adam, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Israel. You understand? Right. So this is... King, that was King James. Today you're gonna find out, you have found out, right? And I, I, I pray you still keep your research up and you, you dig deep. But today you found out King James is not a white man, he's a black man. King right. James was never homosexual. That was a lie that was put on him, right? Just like uh, a, a, a black man is going to devour you, so just shoot him. 
He's angry. You come in contact with a black. What if he not angry? Right, right. You understand? These are lies that that, yeah. that that are that are. You understand? So it's like that. Just another lie toward the black man to destroy him and to destroy uh, uh, f faith in his people. You understand? That's all it is. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.